In this lesson, we'll consider special angle pairs that are formed by a pair of parallel lines and a transversal. The names of some of the angles we'll be considering are shown in this crossword. What are parallel lines? You can find parallel lines everywhere. There are many parallel lines in this picture. A lot of mathematics went into the design and construction of this beautiful deck. Parallel lines are lines that are everywhere equidistant. Parallel lines have the same slope. They will never intersect. In this diagram, lines A and B are parallel. We show this with these markings and also by using this notation. Line A is parallel to line B. Besides measuring the distance between lines to determine if they're parallel, we can also construct a line through two lines and measure the angles formed. A transversal is a line that passes through two or more lines. If a transversal passes through two parallel lines, eight angles are formed as shown. These angles will have special relationships. There are four angles inside the parallel lines. We call these interior angles. There are two pairs of interior angles we're interested in, alternate interior angles and same side interior angles. Alternate interior angles are on alternating sides of the transversal. One angle is high, one is low, one left and one right. Angles 2 and 7 are alternate interior angles, as are angles 4 and 5. Alternate interior angles are congruent. They have the same measure. Same side interior angles lie on the same side of the transversal and are inside the parallel lines. Angles 2 and 5 are same side interior angles, as are angles 4 and 7. Same side interior angles are supplementary. Their measures add up to 180 degrees. There are four angles outside the parallel lines. We call these exterior angles. Alternate exterior angles are on alternating sides of the transversal. One is high, one is low, one's left, and one's right. Angles 1 and 8 are alternate exterior angles, as are angles 3 and 6. Alternate exterior angles are congruent. They have the same measure. Same side exterior angles lie on the same side of the transversal and are located outside the parallel lines. Angles 1 and 6 are same side exterior angles, as are angles 3 and 8. Same side exterior angles are supplementary. Their measures add up to 180 degrees. There is another special pair of angles to point out when a transversal passes through a pair of parallel lines. These are corresponding angles. Corresponding angles are congruent angles that essentially occupy the same spot in the diagram. For example, angles 1 and 5 are corresponding angles. They are both located on the same side of the transversal, right in this case above the transversal, and are located on the same side of the parallel lines. There are more corresponding angles in this diagram. Angles 2 and 6 are corresponding. Again, they occupy essentially the same spot in the diagram. Angles 4 and 8 are corresponding, and 3 and 7. Corresponding angles are congruent. This diagram shows a pair of parallel lines and two transversals. You are asked to solve for the angles marked with A, B, C, and D. Angle A measures 90 degrees since it forms a pair of corresponding angles with the right angle that's shown in the diagram, and corresponding angles are congruent. Angle B forms a corresponding angle with the angle marked as 38 degrees, therefore angle B measures 38 degrees. Angle C forms a linear pair with the angle marked as 38 degrees. Also, angle C forms a same side interior angle with angle B. Therefore, angles B and C are supplementary. That's why angle C measures 142 degrees. Angle D forms a vertical angle 
with the angle that is adjacent to angle B in the diagram. Therefore, angle D is complementary with angle B. The measure of angle D is 52 degrees.